Let's start off with the fact that you're uh, investing $1.2 billion over the next 36 months in Gabon in uh, iron alloy plants. With regards to what drove you to yes. go to Gabon, tell us about uh, the tax incentives. Uh, was this one of the biggest reasons that you chose Gabon as a destination? Uh, to explain the company's venture, one of the biggest reasons for coming into Gabon uh, to do this investment has been uh, the uh, improvement of the or the opening of the special economic zone in Gabon, which offers uh, various tax incentives which are very beneficial for the business. And at the same time, we have to consider uh, that uh, for a large projects of this size, it is very important to have the raw material sources close by which fortunately is available in Gabon. What the company intends to do over here is to set up a ferromanganese smelting plant and along with it, a 300 megawatt power plant, which is more of a captive nature. Now, ferromanganese requires a lot of manganese ore in order to convert that and smelt it into uh, usable products. So uh, it is available over here and that is one of the reason. The second reason, as I say, is the economic special, the special economic zone, I would rather put it like that, uh, which offers uh, various tax incentives, which are very beneficial for a business to start and grow over the initial days. Now, these kind of projects initially have a lot of capital infusion in the very starting. And these are very capital intensive projects with a very long payback period. Now, if you have certain incentives and economic benefits that is provided uh, and which is being provided by the special economic zone, that is very beneficial for the business yeah, and that is one of the drivers uh, for uh, yeah. the group to come uh, ahead Sanjay, and invest in Gabon. Sanjay, uh, essentially there's a tax break for 10 years. So you're exempt for ta from tax paying taxes for 10 years, after which you will pay a 10% tax on the profits that you make. You're talking about the return on investment taking quite a long time. What kind of uh, strategy have you put in place to ensure that you are as prof profitable as quickly as possible? Uh, let me, can you repeat the last part of the question? When do you suspect that the business will turn profitable? Sorry. When do you expect Can you please that repeat? you when do you expect to see profits coming in given the fact that you will be exempt from paying taxes for 10 years? Okay. Uh, regarding the uh, uh, regarding the profits coming in, it's actually actually uh, you have to understand the whole dynamics and how this uh, business uh, operates. You know, essentially is that that the profits uh, you know when you are looking at the operating profits, it immediately uh, starts uh, being generated. But uh, you have a long repayment schedule, and what is really essential is that, that the payback period is around four to four and a half to five years, and typically in these kinds of projects. Uh, but uh, Gabon being a slightly costlier territory and uh, as compared to uh, some of our ventures that we have done in the past, we expect that uh, these uh, projects to start payback, you know, complete the payback period over a period of six to seven years. So I think within the range of around uh, profit exemption period of 10 yeah. years, we should be able to get a reasonably good payback. Uh, it also seems that from a logistic perspective, and you alluded to it slightly earlier, uh, when you look at ensuring that you have the right raw materials and the right movement of raw materials, what kind of infrastructure are you planning uh, to put in place? Or is that up to the government of Gabon? Uh, regarding the inf uh, setting up of the infrastructure uh, that uh, we have been discussing about, we do face a slightly uh, logistical challenge uh, because, the, uh, because the position of the ports. The position of the ports uh, here in uh, Libreville, Gabon, definitely needs uh, some consolidation as to the bandwidth of the ports in order to handle uh, the kind of imports and exports we are talking about. At the same time, what has happened over a period of time is that, that there has been very small industrial activity uh, within, uh, within uh, this country and Libreville also. So road logistics uh, also uh, figures out a very important part which we need to handle over a period of time. And I think we have got the reasonable time to adjust uh, to these new circumstances and challenges. And uh, as far as the company, is go, uh, company goes, uh, we are definitely conducting our own research in order to find out the optimum way of handling the logistics issue. 
At the same time, uh, the government is also uh, taking uh, very reasonable steps in order to assess uh, the demands of new industry and it is also, you know, probably also proceeding towards uh, increasing the bandwidth of the port as well as the road logistics over here in Gabon.